Bishop Schneider allayed Catholics' concerns about the SSPX, by claiming that the organization merely accomplishes, what the Church has traditionally done up until the Council. Assuring them that they are not outside the Church, and are merely carrying out what the Church did always, up until the Second Vatican Council, Bishop Athanasius Schneider urged Catholics to attend Masses celebrated by the Society of St. Pius X. A video clip from the Confraternity of Our Lady of Fatima's monthly video question and answer series, featured guidance from Bishop Schneider, an auxiliary bishop of Astana, Kazakhstan. He minimized frequently stated concerns, when asked if it is permitted to visit a chapel run by the traditional Society of St. Pius X, SSPX. He claimed that because the SSPX is not outside the church, and neither is the society in schism, its members are not excommunicated. Bishops ordained in the society had previously been excommunicated, and these excommunications were always vigorously disputed by the bishops themselves. However, as Schneider stated, Pope Benedict XVI revoked this excommunication in 2009. The Orthodox Catholic Organization, established by French Archbishop Marcel Lefebvre, was mentioned as having irregular canonical problems by the Auxiliary Bishop of Astana, although he added that this should not stop Catholics from receiving the sacraments. During the Year of Mercy, Pope Francis already gave SSPX priests the authority to hear confessions, after the year was through, he continued to grant them this authority. In what was viewed at the time as a step toward potential greater ties with the Vatican, he subsequently granted local bishops, the authority to permit Catholics to be married by SSPX priests. How can a Pope provide permission to priests, who do not possess the canonical ordinary faculties of the Church? The Society of St. Pius X's position, is related to the exceptional crisis facing the Church. Pius X is associated with the unprecedented Church crisis. They only carry out what the Church did up until the Council. Given that the Bishop was requested by the Vatican, to make an official tour to SSPX seminaries on behalf of the Holy See, his critique of the SSPX is very relevant. In light of his previous studies, he stated that the canonical situation is irregular, within the society because of the severe crisis that we have been experiencing, since the Council. We must be very sincere and acknowledge this. The first, priority, is the faith, the truth, and the liturgy, all of which the Church always maintained, as it was in the 4th century during the Arian crisis, he said, adding that when there is an emergency of faith, the canonical legal aspect, is secondary and the first, priority, is the faith, the truth, and the liturgy. Bishop Schneider recalled St. Athanasius' well-known remark, they took all the structures, but we have the faith, in reference to the excommunication of the saint, for speaking out against the Arian heresy, that were prevalent in the church. In addition to recognizing the legitimacy of the Pope, and local bishops and praying for them, he referred to how the SSPX believes, worships, and conducts a moral life, as it was demanded and recognized by the Supreme Magisterium, and was observed universally in the Church, during a centuries-long period. He also called for full unity to be granted to them. This should be adequate, he suggested, for the Holy See to canonically recognize the SSPX.